Image overlays are super popular in most applications. I tend to use them for big hero images where we want the back the image slightly darker with the text over in white so you can read the text. Also, when you hover over, for instance, a profile image to reveal more information, or you could use an image overlay as a way to gate certain content to show when content is premium. So I'm searching for content. In the database, I have some content data with an image, I have premium yes or no, and I have title. So here are images. We have one of them premium. And that one premium item is going to have a darker screen across it with a little lock icon. Okay, so let me show you how it's done. So I'm not gonna grab an image element. I'm actually gonna grab a group container the reason being is we can set the group background style to image. And I'm doing this because I want a user group as an overlay. If I had an image and I just dropped a group on top of that, the image and the group are separated. But by putting an image in a group, I can then nest another group within that group. And I can set the group on top to have a black layer that's slightly visible beneath. So I can now say grab the image. Okay, I'm just going to set up some rendering of image IX, center the image, and I know that these will give me what I'm looking for. I'm going to uncheck fixed width because I don't want it to be fixed width, I want it to be fluid. Okay, and I'm just going to make this a bit bigger, bring this up slightly. This needs to be set to content, parent groups content as well, because we'll be feeding data into this group, not the image, but the information to then show or hide a darker overlay. But let's see the results so far. Okay, so we have our little images. And now for the one that is premium, we want to display a black overlay with a little lock icon in the corner. So what I'm gonna do is grab another group, drop that, it has to be in this group, okay? Then I'm going to set the background style to flat color, use like a jet black and set that to 50%. This is personal choice. Since overlay. Now this is not visible on page load. We don't want them all to have them. We rather, we want to set a condition that states when the parent group's content, this group here, when the parent group's content premium is yes. That's when we show it. Okay, now we need this neatly same width all the way across and just make sure that it's not fixed width. This is down to 20 because we want it to inherit what the parent settings are. And I'm just going to remove all of this stuff as well. We don't need a border style or separator, just nice and clean. Okay, so this should just show up for one of them now. There we go. And then from there, we can have an icon. If this was gated content, I'll probably have a lock. Change that to white. Put that in the corner. You can also set an image overlay to show on a hover. So you set a conditional on a group to then show that image on a hover. You can use it in your big responsive hero images at the top. Remember, don't use an image to begin with, use a group and set the group style to image. And that's really the trick.